The city's $17.2 million homeless resource center has been empty since last year until now. Funding issues put up roadblocks for the facility to serve the community. In tonight's I-Team report, Christy Tomashiro digs deeper and finds it's not the only city project with similar problems. The city's core team is on the front line serving Oahu's most vulnerable. Now, CORE will operate out of the once vacant City Homeless Resource Center in Evie Lay. The team is moving in donated hospital beds and medical supplies this week. The goal, to care for people and place them in permanent housing. Our EMTs can come, check vitals. We can be with these people 24-7. A lot of like med management that you cannot do on the streets. Their frustration out on the streets is they don't have places to take people who have dementia, wounds, um, other medical conditions where they're too sick for the shelters, not sick enough for the hospital. Construction of the $17.2 million facility wrapped up last February. The city says the funding issue stems from the project starting under the previous administration, who had a different idea of how the facility would be used. So I'm asking the tough questions. What's being done to prevent this from happening again? Is this a lesson learned for future projects ahead? This certainly is a lesson learned because not only are we dealing with local, state or city funds, but federal funding and also how we specify the types of projects that we want to have. So we have to scrutinize and be careful at how we start to fund city properties and city projects. Digging deeper, I found another site in question is the former Delight Bakery in Kalihi. Because it is so restricted to just affordable housing, I think the needs of the community, which includes um, social services, even a health or medical doctor in the area um, that could have thrived there, we may not be able to have there because of the type of funding. The other parts of the Homeless Resource Center, including apartments, remain closed. CORE will start working out of the facility in three weeks. Christy Thomas-Shiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.